In these next problems, we're going to be dealing with some exponential formulas that have to do with interest. And there's a lot of ways to calculate interest. You might already be familiar with simple interest. So simple interest would be um, somebody uh, says, I'll hold on to your $100 for you for 10 years, and I'll give you a 10% interest rate, which means after those 10 years, you get $110, right? So it would be the amount that you get at the end equals the principal, or in this case, 100 bucks times 1 plus the rate, and the rate is 10% or 0.1, and that would equal $110. That would be simple interest. It's not a good way to go if you want to make money. Compound interest, much better way to go. So in compound interest, uh, you have the amount equals the principal times 1 plus, and this is the rate over n, and n is the number of times you compound it in a particular time period. Typically, um, if you compound it once a year, that number would be 1, and so the n wouldn't even figure in here. Uh, but it, you can also get deals where you get the, a, a yearly rate, but you get to compound it every month. Let's look at the difference in that, actually. So if you had 100 bucks and you uh, compounded it just, uh, you had a 10% rate, and it was compounded every year, which is not bad, so it would be 1 plus 0.1 to the tenth there. And um, you let that go for 10 years. What you would get at the end of that is $259.37. So that's kind of the magic of compound interest. The other guy only gave you $110. You're more than doubling your money in 10 years with compound interest. Now, that's when you compound it every year. If you compound that monthly, you get a little bit more. So this would be 1 plus the rate, which is 0.1, divided by the number of times uh, per time period that you compounded. If it's monthly, it's going to be 12 times in a year. And then we get that 12 times 10. So 12 for the, the number of time periods, that's monthly, over 10 years. And if you crunch the numbers on that, you actually get $270.70. So that's even better than compounding it once a year. Obviously, if you're trying to get the most money on your interest, you want it compounded as often as you can. So they've come up with this thing called continuous compounding or continuously compounded interest. And obviously, you can't really do that. You couldn't, like, um, you know, recalculate the interest every fraction of a second. But this formula approximates that. So in this case, sometimes they call this the shampoo formula because there used to be a shampoo called PERT or it's the PERT formula. So the amount equals the principal times E to the rate times the time period, and that'll give you continuously compounded interest. So if we were going to do that here, we'd have $100 principal times E to the 0.1 times 10, or E to the 1 there. And that, in this case, would give us $279.83. So a little bit more than uh, we got from compounding monthly. So that's some of the formulas for compounding interest. Let's look at the problems now. So this first one says, determine the principal that must be invested at 7% compounded monthly so that 200,000 will be available for retirement in 15 years. So the amount they want at the end is 200,000. So that's going to sub in for our A in the formula. And then we have our principal, and that's what we're trying to figure out, so we'll just leave that as P. And then it's 1 plus the rate, which is 0 0.07, divided by the number of times it's compounded per time period. So we're compounding monthly, and it's an annual rate, so it's going to be 12 times per year. And then we have the number of times it's compounded times the number of years, which is 15. So we've got a lot of calculating to do here. So 0 0.07, let me bring my calculator over here, divided by 12 plus 1. And that's going to go to the 180 power. 12 times 15 is 180, I think. So we get 2.84894. And what we're going to do then is take that number and divide 200,000 by it. And we get $70,201.55. So if you want to have 
$200,000 waiting for you in 15 years, you got to put away 70000 or a little bit over now. All right, let's uh, try another one. This one says what amount, so we're going to look for A. To the nearest cent, will an account have after 10 years, if $175 is invested, uh -huh, so that's our principal, 175 at 6.5, percent interest compounded continuously. Okay, so this is the PERT formula. A equals P times E to the RT. So we'll have our principal 175 times E to the rate, which is 6.5, so that's 0 0.065, times T, which is 10. So we'll take E to the 0.65 power times 175 and we get three hundred and thirty five dollars and twenty two cents not bad for investing hundred seventy five dollars for only ten years all right let's look at another one okay in this one, it says if $900 is invested at 14% per annum, that's just a fancy way of saying per year, compounded continuously. So this is a PERT formula. How long will it take before the amount is $1,400? So they're giving us the amount here. So $1,400 is in for A. They're giving us the principal, that's $900. Then we have E, and our rate is 14%, so 0.14. What they're not giving us is time. So this one's a little bit different. We're solving for a variable that's up here in the exponent. Although we can do that. It's not too hard. So the first thing I'd probably start with is dividing both sides by 900. And that gives us, well, over here it's 1.5 repeating. And here we get e to the 1.14t. And then at this point, what I would do is take the natural log of both sides. And remember, what it's going to do over here to E is just cancel it out. So we just get 0.14t. So we have the natural log of 1.5 repeating equals 0.14t. And then to solve for t, all we have to do is take the natural log of 1.5 repeating and divide by 0.14. And what you get is 3.16 years approximately. So that's a little bit of work with these exponential functions regarding interest.